So this is going to be quite an interesting question. Jabu would like to purchase a new Golf GTI. So it's a, it's a car which is selling for 300,000 Rand. The car dealership requires a 20% deposit and will then finance the car over 5 years at 13% per annum simple interest. Jabu will pay off the car monthly. So what this means, and this is a very real life kind of question, um, people buying cars. So let's say here's Jabu. He's very happy because he's going to go to the car dealership to buy his new car. All right. So he walks into the car dealership. He spots this lovely car that he's that he that he really wants. But it is quite expensive. It's 300,000 Rand. But there is an alternative way for Jabu to be able to buy this car without having to pay the full amount. So, and this is how it works in real life for 95% of people. This is how they purchase cars. So, the car dealership wants a 20% deposit. So that means that he has to pay them 20% of the price of the car, which is 300,000 Rand. Of means... Um, times and so 20% you can say 20 over 100 just like we do with our normal um, simple interest or compound interest questions sorry that's meant to be at times 300,000 Rand and what you'll find is that that is going to give you 60,000 so Jabu is going to pay the car dealership 60,000 Rand upfront on the day he's going to give them 60,000 Rand the car dealership will then say, okay, fine, you can now have the car, but you are going to pay us back the rest of the money. And because you're not paying us the full amount, we're going to penalize you. We're going to add interest. But Jabu is fine. He's happy. He knows he's going to get a bit of interest and a bit of a penalty, but he just wants his car. So he's paid a 60,000 Rand. So how much is still left of the car? Well, there's still another 240,000 Rand. Now the car dealership, they're going to look at that 240,000 Rand and they're going to say, hmm, well, we're not very happy, so we're going to add interest. They're going to add interest using, I think we said simple interest. Let's just double check. There we go. Simple interest, 13%, and it's going to be for five years. So let's see how much Jabu is actually going to have to pay. So we just use the simple interest formula using the 240,000. Remember, they're not interested in the 300,000 anymore because Jabu has already paid some of it. So they're not gonna add interest onto the 300,000. They're gonna add interest or a penalty onto the 240,000. The interest rate we said was 13%, which is 0 0.13. And Jabu is gonna have to pay this car over a five year period. Now, if you go type this all in on your calculator, it's gonna give you 396 thousand rand that Jabu still owes these people. So question number one asks us how much is Jabu gonna pay for this car in total? Well on the day that he was in the car dealership, how much did he pay then? Yep, he paid sixty thousand. Then the car dealership says, okay, we're gonna take your two hundred and forty thousand that you still owe us and we're gonna add a bit of penalty onto that. So now you still owe us three hundred and ninety six thousand Rand. Plus, he's already paid the 60,000, so that's going to mean that means that Jabu is going to pay a total of 456,000 Rand for this car when it was only worth 300,000 Rand in the first place. Okay, so he's going to pay a total of 456,000 Rand. What will his monthly payments be? Well, on the day that he walks into the shop, he pays them 60,000 Rand. They then take that 240,000 Rand and they they add interest onto it. And that gave us a total of 396,000. That's how much he still has to pay them. They're not worried about this 60,000. That's already paid. So he still owes them 396,000 Rand. Now in five years, there is 60 months. So you can say 396,000 divided by 60. And that's going to give you 6,600 Rand per month. So Jabu... For the next 60 months, he will pay these people 6,600 Rand. Now, you see why some people do this is some people don't, or not many people have 300,000 Rand in their bank account. So what they do is they, but, but many people maybe do have, they maybe have 60,000 Rand. So they can afford to pay the 60,000 
and then they have to pay the car dealership on a monthly basis an amount of 6,600, which for most people, they can afford that. But in the long run, you see how Jabu is going to end up paying so much more than what he actually has to, but at least he can get his car. And then the third question says, how much interest does Jabu pay in total? Well, interest is like the penalty amount in this scenario. So he was meant to pay 300,000 Rand. That's how much the car is worth. He pays a total of 456,000 Rand. So how much penalty has been applied? Well, the penalty has been, the penalty will be 456,000 minus the 300,000. And that's going to give you a value of 156,000 thousand rand.